Lake Compound reopens for its 178th year on Saturday, April 27th. This soft season, the park has done some extensive track work on their two wood coasters, Wildcat and Boulder Dash. In this video, I will share what work the park has done these two rides, when you can try them, and how they may change the ride experience. Let's start with Wildcat, as that project is more extensive. Wildcat is a wood coast was opened back in 1927. It was designed by Herbert Schmeck and built by Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters. Like many wood coasters, the ride received quite a bit of track work throughout the years. This include a full rebuild of the structure by the Din Corporation in the mid-1980s and a retrack by the Kennywood Corporation in the late 1990s. Through the 2016 season, the coaster ran three bench PTC trains. At this point, the ride had a noticeable shuffle and was due for another refurbishment. For the 2017 season, the ride got some additional track work from Martin and Flamenx and new Millennium Flyer trains from Great Coasters International. What was supposed to make Wildcat smooth for years to come did the opposite. It made the coaster rougher than ever. The Millennium Flyers did not work well with the existing track type and profile. So Lake Compounds made the difficult decision to close Wildcat for the entire 2023 season as they looked for a solution to fix the ride. Later that year, they announced Gravity Group would be performing a two-year refurbishment to Wildcat, installing their acclaimed pre-cut wooden track. What is pre-cut track? Most wood track is laid in horizontal layers. Pre-cut track is stacked vertically. This gives the wood greater strength and more resistance to bending. This track is also precision cut by CNC equipment, so it arrives on site with the desired profile. This has been added to several rides across the globe. Examples include Racer at Kings Island, Kentucky Flyer Kentucky Kingdom, Legend at Holiday World, and Tunair to Zeus at Park Asterix. Wildcat is the oldest coaster thus far to receive this type of track. During last year's Phantom Fall Fest, chunks of the ride had been removed. Flash forward to Spring 2024, and these sections have been replaced with pre-cut track. These are easily identifiable. Whereas the old sections of white track and orange handrails, the new sections are entirely brown. They cannot be painted at this time because they are recently fabricated but the park will paint them in a year or two so they match the rest of the ride. So which sections receive pre-cut track for the 2024 season? The pre-cut track starts midway through the first turnaround. It then continues for the following two bunny hills and the first half of the second turnaround. The ride curiously switches back to the old track briefly as you exit the second turnaround and enter the third bunny hill. Then there's pre-cut track once again for the remainder of Bunny Hill 3 and the next two Bunny Hills as well. Then the ride switches back to the old track for the final turnaround and the last few hills. How will this change the ride experience? The sections with pre-cut track should be smooth from day one and remain smooth for years to come. The first drop and initial pullout have been smooth ever since the 2017 retrack. It was the one part that came out good so I have no concerns how these sections were left intact. The first five bunny hills were easily the worst part of the ride. They had violent jackhammering and some sudden lateral kinks that were very uncomfortable, so these two things were a brutal combination. So I'm glad these sections mostly got the pre-cut track. They really needed it. This will eliminate most discomfort from the ride. My biggest concern is that the brief section of old track between the second turnaround and third bunny hill could still be rough. This part was quite bumpy the last time I rode Wildcat, particularly the leftward bank on that bunny hill. So I worry the transition between these two sections will be very noticeable and jarring. It looks like you switch back to the pre-cut track at the apex, just as the bunny hill starts banking left. So hopefully it was timed correctly so it's not too bad. The finale may still be a bit bumpy for 2024 though, but that should be fixed in 2025. The park plans to add some additional pre-cut track to the final turnaround after this coming season, 
and also address any remaining problematic sections. The park believes Wildcat will run a bit faster with the new track because the train should not shuffle and jitter as much. But I don't think Wildcat will magically turn to an airtime machine. That is not what this coaster is about. It barely has any negative G's. Instead, Wildcat should be a family thrill coaster. It has the potential to be the perfect first wood coaster for someone. Up until this point, the big problem that was extremely rough, but hopefully this track work makes the ride smooth once and for all, allowing guests of all ages to come off the attraction with a smile. Testing on Wildcat should start sometime next week, as the park was waiting on warmer temperatures. This will allow Wildcat to be ready for opening day on April 27th. The park opens to everyone at 11 a.m., but season pass holders can actually enter the park an hour early that day for exclusive ride time in Wildcat. And the first 250 riders will get a commemorative coin. It is also worth knowing that Wildcat will be included in the park's speedy pass skip the line system this year and going forward. The park is currently in the progress of building a staircase leading directly to the load platform to service speedy pass. This will allow both the standby and speedy pass lanes to merge in the station. This will be similar to what is done on Boulder Dash. Speaking of Boulder Dash, what is being done to the park's award-winning wood coaster? Last year, the ride received 580 feet of GCI Steel Titan track. This was placed at the start of the ride, covering the first drop, the high-speed turn past the lift hill, and the bunny hill over the station. These were high-stress areas where it was tricky to maintain the track gauge. These sections were extremely smooth, and the improved tracking caused Boulder Dash to run faster than usual in 2023. The ride usually ran slow in the spring, and it would speed up in the summer months. But last year in the spring, it was running as fast as it usually does in the summer months. So it's no surprise the park added more Titan track to Boulder Dash in 2024. From the photos the park shared, the steel track was added to the second bunny hill in the return run. It starts halfway down the prior Bunny Hill, then it covers the entirety of Bunny Hill 2. It then stops halfway up Bunny Hill 3. I was a bit surprised this was the section that got steel track because it was next to the midway and never has been rough. That hill has always offered sustained floater airtime, so hopefully that remains the same this year. What was really surprising is that GCI also retracted two brief sections with Epay Wood. This is the type of wood the company used on Mystic Timbers at Kings Island and Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm. This wood is more durable and remains smoother longer. The park shared these sections were added to the outward leg, so my guess is that this was done to the two hills before the double up. These sections have always had delightfully abrupt forces, but there was a noticeable jolt in one of the valleys in 2023. It is encouraging to hear that Steel Titan Track is not always the default choice for maintaining Boulder Dash going forwards. It sounds like the park only wants to use steel in the hard to reach and or problematic areas. While it would be nice to see Boulder Dash retain as much wood as possible for aesthetic purposes, ultimately, I am on board with whatever method allows this ride to run smoothly and reliably going forwards while maintaining the forces, whether that be wood or steel. Now. While the track work has been completed, Boulder Dash may not be ready for the start of the 2024 season. The ride will only have one train available for the upcoming season, and that train is currently at PTC undergoing its annual teardown. The park is trying to get back in time, but PTC is always busy this time of year. So keep this in mind if you're coming from a distance and Boulder Dash is a main priority. The park should have a better idea if and when it will be available closer to opening day. Another note that will apply to several rides this year is that electronic wait time boards were installed outside of any attraction on Speedy Pass. The wait times will be provided by ride attendants or supervisors by visually gauging the queue line. So that is the update on what work Lake Compounds has done to their wood coasters in advance of the 2024 season. What are your thoughts on either Wildcat or Boulder Dash? Are you excited to ride these coasters this year? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this news video, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing.
because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.